Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to go over the new coils that I'll be releasing. And on the left is the Urn Condren and on the right is the coil that I'll be releasing. And it is um, not as thick as Erin Condren, but the diameter is much wider. So you're able to hold a few more pages of notes pages. So I did uncoil the Franken planner that I made to showcase this. And I did want to make one change. Uh, I wanted to add a few more notes pages to the back. So in total, I have 15 notes pages in the back. And I did change out the monthlies to the colorful because I like the how it had the squared boxes instead of the dotted. So the thickness became around an inch and an eighth and you can actually fit a few more pages with it. So the coil doesn't come um, bent or anything so it's a straight coil so it's easier to recoil everything back together. And I was trying to find a binder clip big enough to hold it but I ended up not finding anything. So I had to do it off camera a little bit just to get it going. And if you do have binder clips, it would be much easier to do it. So the recoiling process was much faster than um, using an old Erin Condren since it's not bent. So once you finish coiling everything back together, you will need to bend the coil inward to hold the planner in place. And the, the coil is a little longer than the planner itself. So if you, in case you made a mistake in the bending process, um, at the top one end, you would able to snip it off easily. So for the top portion, it's much easier to lay it flat perpendicular to the table and then just bend inward. I usually leave about five eighths to uh, qu three quarters of an inch of binding or coil inward. So this is how it would look like. And to make it sure that the planner lays flat itself, you would need to make it go straight down the coil. You don't want to bend it somewhere else or it won't lay flat at all. So I would suggest just rolling the coil to the front of the planner. In this case, I rolled it to where the vellum, uh, where it meets the vellum. And you would just need to snip off a bit of excess. Don't snip off towards the vellum. You need to leave a bit of edge or a little bit of um, coil left to bend it inward. So here I'm just bending it inward and I did leave more than enough so I just snipped it off after I bent it in. So this is how the planner looks like and you can see how it goes straight down the coil, the bends, it meets each other. So when you um, open the planner up and then you turn the page on, on the back of itself, um, you can see there's not really a big of a bulge. 
if you were to bend it somewhere else, you wouldn't lay it, the planner wouldn't lay flat. So here I'm just putting back the covers and someone suggested to um, hold their coils or their covers inside. So you would just use the same binding technique. So this is how the planner looks like and there is a bit of um, space so you can add a few more notes pages if you wanted to. I just added 15 because I didn't really need that much. So this is the excess left. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Until next time, bye!